Okay, one of the best ever custom home based on Android 12 for the mutual device users. If you're a user of Redmi Note 10 Pro, sorry, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or Poco M2 Pro, any of these devices, you can install this latest version called OctaVS version 3.3 and based on Android version 12. One of the best ever OS with you is a good CPU throttling test, good safeness data that's also passing banking apps working and a lot more things and one of the best ones out there you can give it to try for sure on your device. If you're a user of any of these devices, you can install this only if you are interested in Android 12. I'm not comparing it with Android version 11. Android 11 is still far more better in my opinion, but Android 12 is not so bad in these upcoming updates. So far, whatever I've tried I on my devices. This is Octavius which we are using and it comes with almost same kind of things for you. For example, the launcher, launcher which you get pre-installed. We're going to talk about those things in this video, so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, if you're able to see the Octavi OS about phone, which is version 3.3, if you're able to see with the latest January security patch and this about phone UI is now changed in version 3.3. Until 3.2 or maybe the previous versions 3.0, 3.1, the UI was changed. If we move on to the default things, if I open the home settings here, if you're able to see, we have the launcher, launcher, but you get reinstalled. Launcher launcher, which means some customizations in the default launcher. Launcher, of course, supports the monitor theming, the icons, etc. In the version, if you're able to see, able to see launcher 12.0 alpha 4, the latest version while well, making this video is this one, the launcher, the latest version. And if you want to install this launcher launcher on other of your devices, you can get that. And I made a video already on those things. Now, if you talk about this unlimited Google photo storage, yes, a lot of users were saying that it is disabling their Google accounts, etc. But no one is sure about that. I'm also not sure. But yes, you have that pre-installed. And if you worried about that thing, make sure don't use your personal account or main primary account. Here, I just want to let you know about the CPU throttling 15 minutes, no CPU thermal throttling, which is great, of course, and maximum performance 174. I think in Android version 12, this is one of the best for me, at least for me, it is best because I didn't got this much performance in any Android 12 in any device so far. And this Android 12, 174 is the maximum performance in this mutual device. This feels awesome and I think so you will definitely love this app opening, app closing speed, everything seems to be good. Also in the default camera section, if you're able to see the default camera is Google camera. Google camera is pre-installed, it's not Google camera, Google edition, it's not MIUI camera. And if you want to install the ANX camera on Android 12, let's see if we have that update that is available for Redmi Note 10 Pro users, for Redmi Note 9 Pro or mutual device users, this option is not available. But yes, I will see if I got something for you, the ANX camera which should support Android 12. Maybe you might face some bugs there, but I don't think so. That is a major thing. Also, this is Octavi OS, so yes, Octavi Dialer is there. This is not Oxygen OS Dialer, this is themed like Octavi Dialer, but UI is same like Oxygen OS. If you want to install this dialer separately on any of your devices running Android 12, you can get that too. I made a video where you can even enable the call recording option and that supports monitor theming. You can see the search bar is now rounded and this implements this monitor theming and this looks quite good. I think so. This is one of the best things about this Octavio OS and a lot of users love the Octavio OS just because of this dialer. But it also will leave some features for you for sure and if you want to check out those features, stay tuned. I will show the features too in this video so stay tuned for that. This is about the dialer which we have if you move on to the battery backup section. As I'm using it on my device from some time, maybe even last night or maybe more than 24 hours almost, it's quite good. The battery level seems to be decent enough. I got normal kind of battery idle drain or active drain. Let me show you. Active drain is 9.63%. Of course, as you can see, more than two hours of screen on time, which I got so far. And this doesn't look that bad. I think so. It's looking good. If you're able to see the control center or quick settings panel, this is now themed and the animations are quite smooth, which you get in Octavi OS. In some custom rooms like Spark OS, etc., you can customize the clock and etc. But in Octavi OS, only few of the customizations available for lock screen etc and those are not enough to check out on your device. Now if you talk about the safety net status which also matters a lot. Safety net status here I am using the app called yet another safety net attestation checker. I saw one of the apps called safety net test and safety net checker that was having some issues there so I am not sure if that is working fine or not but I found this app and this app looks better. 
if you want to check it out seamless status by the way i haven't rooted my device from magis so yes this is about the default status and in default things safeness status is passing which means i'll be able to use banking apps on my devices if i will be able to use banking apps on my devices without root that is one of the best things good cpu throttling good app opening app closing speed good battery backup whatever you need in a custom home almost everything is present here for you here are a few of the customizations which you might love the customizations includes Octavi Lab, Wear, Status Bar, Quick Settings, Notifications, Theming, etc. All the features are available here for you. Volume Panel, Power Menu, Visualizer, Miscellaneous, etc. In Miscellaneous, you only have some few of the customizations, Show Call Strength Icons, etc. If you move on to the Visualizer, Visualizer, which is also looking quite good, you can enable the Automatic Color or these things. And this is only for the users who always listen music on the devices by locking their devices lock screen related customizations only a few of those and which are not major enough same like with that if you move on to the power menu section here, here you have the advanced reboot options screenshot options etc whichever you need everything is available here for you if you move on to the gesture section three finger screenshots of course the double tap status bar to put the device to sleep everything is available which is quite useful Navigation menu where you can enable or disable the on-screen navigation bar and some layout related things which you can customize. Same kind of thing with volume panel where you can customize the volume steps from 7 or 15 to 20, 25 maybe whatever you want to use. Here comes Octavio's theming where you have the option to customize the monet theming. Even you can customize the fonts, the icons, the Wi-Fi icons and signal icons, everything you can customize and this looks better. In some custom homes, we even have the preview but that is not available in Octavio OS. In the customization like notification section, you can enable the ambient edge lighting. You can even also use the heads up options. If you don't want that, you can disable that option and some status bar customizations are also included. Some status bar customizations includes Volte, Wi-Fi, etc. Same kind of things with status bar. These things about to have this in Octavi OS, Octavi Lab and some customizations about this one. If you move on to the security section, I got one new feature there. I'm not sure if it was available in the previous build or not, but now we saw, of course, no face unlock and no app lock. But if you're able to see suspicious message alerts, this is a new feature. This is a new thing which I got in this update. These alerts let you know if your text message includes a suspicious request, fake link or potential scam whatever you want to check it out i think so it's one of the good things in this one this is available in the security section i'm not sure if it was available in the previous build or not it also includes the ota support of course you cannot be able to update your device via ota but if you want to check out that if your device has new update alongside with the change log what is changed there everything is available which is absolutely useful and you i think so you might face this better things I think so it's good enough to use as your, as your daily driver in your device. You also have some OTA settings where you can check out whenever this OTA will work for you, whenever this will check the OTA update for you in 6 hours, 12 hours etc. This is all from these short and simple things and this is one of the best ones out there. As I previously mentioned, if you want to install this build on your device, link is in the description. Installation is same like other custom ones, one of the best ones out there. This was all from today's short and simple video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.